when you want to get off the Hey everyone so first i'm going to take this orange warm shade and i'm just going to put that in my crease we're going to build from the lightest shade to the darkest shade uh, make sure you're keeping all the um eye shadows within the crease line because i mean you can get it onto your lid because we are going to clean it up later on but you know just try it's easier that way then i'm going to move on to this shade right here and i'm just going to layer it on top it's a very warm brown color and you just want to make sure you're smoking that out into the crease as well then i'm going to take this dark um shade of brown and i'm going to start shaping out my crease now i did it a little bit higher so i just smudged it with my finger and redid it again so you want to make sure it's almost similar to the other eye i kept looking at the other eye for reference um everybody has different eye shapes on each eye that's what i have at least so i'm trying to match it so it looks exactly the same so you want to deepen that crease using that color and moving on to this dark purple shade i'm going to use that in the crease and smoke it out I'm going to move on to this black eye shadow and I'm just going to again start deepening my crease now. This is where it all comes together. Um so I'm just going to smoke that out really well and that's where I know my crease will begin. You always want to take the tiniest brush that you have. It's easier that way. Then I'm going to take some Fit Me concealer. You can take whatever concealer you have and I'm just going to take that flat brush and I'm just going to start carving out my lid using this concealer. So this is quite a tricky step because it depends on the consistency of your conce um concealer. So you want it to be a little bit um runny more than, you know, a cream base. And I'm just going to carve it out making sure it's again similar to the other eye. and you want to drag it out into a wing so go all the way out um so that it gives you a really nice almond eye effect now i'm going to take this cream eye shadow and i'm just going to set my entire lid with that eye shadow you can obviously use any other shade that you like but i just wanted this to be sort of cream and white so that's why i took that shade I'm going to take a tinier brush and I'm just going to seriously carve my crease now. I'm just going to cut my crease exactly like uh my other eye. And you want to be careful you can take your um brush one step at a time and do this because this is a really important step and you want to flick it out um just giving it a little shading. I'm going back with my detail shader brush and taking some black and just intensifying my crease a little more. Moving on to this uh 38 it's a purple eye shadow I just took that on a large blending brush and I'm just going to run that through my crease for some color Now I'm just going to draw a wing liner now you have to draw a really thin wing liner like you cannot go and draw like your crazy ass wing liner because it's going to take away from the entire look so it depends on your eye shape really so I just did a really tiny wing Again this took me some time because I'm not good with wing liner you guys know if you do mess up you want to clean it up with some concealer just like I did Then I'm going to go on with this black once again and I'm just going to intensify the crease uh, to match it with the other eye so that's exactly what I'm doing You just have to go back and forth until you're satisfied with the way it looks and don't forget to shade as well Now I'm going to um just repack that creamy eye shadow once again. Like I said, I keep going back and forth. And I'm 
going to coat my uh, lashes with mascara and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line using all the same uh, shades that I used for my crease. You just want to put a dash of purple in there as well just to liven up the entire look. And I'm going to go in with Kajal. Now for face, I'm going to set my entire face. I already did my foundation concealer routine. You guys know the drill. And I'm going to take this MAC Matte Bronze and I'm just going to contour my nose. And with my Sephora Bronzer in Deep Mocha, I'm going to contour my face. This is slightly reddish but I mean I like the way it looks so I just kept blending out so it didn't look that intense. I'm going to take this Miss Claire blush in 15 and I'm just going to pop that on my cheek for some colour. I'm just going to take my stippling brush and make sure it's nice and blended out. And for highlighter, I'm going to use my uh, Super Shock Cheek um, Highlighter in Smoke and Whistles and I'm just going to pop that in my cheekbone. I'm going to put that on my nose and my brow bone, cupid's bow, everywhere. Just bathe myself in highlighter. And I'm going to take this white um, and shimmery shadow and I'm just going to pop that in the inner corner. That makes all the difference in the world like you can see. And um, for lips, I'm just going to line my lips with this pink lip liner and I'm going in with um, Meher by MAC. It's a beautiful pink colour. So I just thought to keep it a little bit simple. But I also did another option for all you girls who like to go a little bold with your lip colour. But if I had to go out with a look, I would pick this definitely because I love a nude lip, you guys know. Um, then I'm going in with um, this peach orange shade and I'm just going to put that in the center for some, I don't know, it looks really nice and gives you that whole peachy vibe. I'm just going to finish off using my Fix Plus. And for my second lip option, I'm going to take this MAC lip liner in Cherry and I'm just going to line my lip. And I'm going to take the Color Avenue by Colourpop Cosmetics and I'm just going to put that on my lip. It's a beautiful, bold, red lip. Um, so yeah, this is my second lip option. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to me. And yeah, I love you guys so very much. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.